right, this is a video for our new uh, harness that we're making. It's going to be for two and three alternator system uh, for our voltage controller. Our harness is going to have all the wiring connections already with instructions as to what gets wired where. So you're going to get the harness with three alternator connections already. These are just going to plug right into the regulator. You don't need to do any wiring into the alternator itself. So if you're only going to run two alternators, you can just set one aside and just tuck it away. You're not going to need it unless you decide to run a third alternator. So connection points is going to be ignition, ground, connection to our voltage controller, ground, and 12 volt constant. So these two already have the eyelets on there. So these are already going to go straight to the alternator. So this one is going to go to the 12 volt constant to the alternator positive post, which is going to be listed on, on the label. And the ground with the, with the eyelet is going to go to one of the three nuts off of the back of your alternator. That'll be a ground for this here. So what you're looking at is one, two, three, four wiring connections. It's already going to be fused and again with the relay. So again, everything is going to have an instruction sheet for you, how to wire it up. It's going to be simple. And now we're going to go ahead and take you over to the machine. So what we're doing right now is we're going to go ahead and show you two alternators running concurrently. So this harness is mainly for, excuse me, only for vehicles that are running two alternators on the same battery. If you're running two separate batteries, this harness is not for you. So as we have it noted down, we have our 12 volt constant, we have our ground, have our ignition source and then we have our other ground available here plugged into the harness the controllers connected to the harness and we have two separate controllers to show you alternator one and alternator two so we've got the regulator set at 14.9 on alternator one and alternator two Now we're going to go ahead and manually move the voltage, 15.6, 15.6. Both alternators are equal at the 15.6. Bump it up to the 15.8, 15.9, 15.9. Back it down to where most guys want to live at, maybe at the 15.5 world. Fifteen five, fifteen five. That's it. So we made this as simple as possible for you guys to go ahead and connect. Again, ignition source, ground, ground, 12 volt constant, and plug it into our voltage controller. And then of course, how many alternators you want to run? One, two, or three. Okay, I well, hope this helps you out a lot, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, update the website on these to have them available on there shortly. Um, lead time on these is going to be about one to two weeks because we do have to go ahead and make them in-house. But know that this will satisfy a lot of your guys' concerns on trying to wire up a relay. Back down to 152. 152. Alright, any questions, man? Feel free to give us a call. Auto Tech Engineering. Thank you.